Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on. Cambodian king visits India on maiden state visit meets top leadership. Secretariat employees in POK protest to highlight discrimination. And from highs to lows, Everest record breaker sees no future in Nepal. And now for all the details, Cambodian King Norodham Sihamoni on Tuesday received a ceremonial welcome in New Delhi a day after he arrived in India for his maiden state visit. The visit by the King of Cambodia is taking place after almost six decades, with the last being that of his father in 1963. He also visited and laid a wreath at Rajghat, the memorial of Indian freedom movement leader Mahatma Gandhi. Later in the day, King Sihamoni also met India's Foreign Minister S. Day Shankar and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar. He also held bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This visit also marks the culmination of the celebrations of the 70th anniversary of diplomatic relations between both the countries. And terrorists shot dead a civilian working in a circus in Anantanag district of India's Jammu Kashmir on Monday night. The deceased civilian was identified by police as Deepu, a resident of Udampur district. The area was cordoned off and searches were underway to trace the attackers. The recent attack comes 10 days after a massive crackdown by India's National Investigation Agency in an effort to dismantle the terror support system. The region had witnessed targeted killings of at least 14 civilians and non-locals in 2022. India accuses Pakistan-backed terrorists to spread unrest in its Kashmir Valley. However, Islamabad denies the charge. And well, in an effort to bring normalcy to the violence at regions of Manipur, India's Home Minister Amit Shah chaired a high-level meeting with Chief Minister N. Biren Singh and other senior officials in state capital Imphal to assess the situation. He also met community leaders and other stakeholders as violence in Manipur renewed earlier this week. The violence began on 3rd of May when tribal groups clashed with the ethnic Methi community over their demand for scheduled tribe status. The growing tension and ethnic clashes have killed at least 60 people, leading to New Delhi rushing in army and paramilitary troops in the northeastern state. Uh, we've done an excellent job, Assam Rifles and Armed Forces, and may have saved a large number of lives. The challenges in Manipur have not gone. It's, they're not disappeared. It's, uh, one way to say, uh, it'll take some time, actually. But uh, hopefully, uh, they should settle down. Meanwhile, the Opposition Congress Party on Tuesday met President Draupadi Murmu and demanded a high-level inquiry commission to probe the matter. In a memorandum, the party also asked the government to take concrete steps to restore normalcy in Manipur. Government employees in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir recently staged a massive demonstration to demand equal pay and allowance at par with the counterparts in Pakistan. Highlighting exploitation, they blamed the authorities have kept on delaying the process for several years. Members of the All Secretariat Employees Association in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir held a massive protest recently highlighting discrimination in salaries granted to them. The protesters said they have been long demanding equal pay and secretariat allowance at par with their counterparts in Pakistan. But they have been deprived of such benefits despite serving for several years. They lamented funds for buying unnecessary vehicles for top grade officials is approved immediately, but they are being told there is no budget for them. इस वक्त इंतहाई जो तूफानी महंगाई है और महंगाई का एक जो तूफान उमड़ आया है इसमें मलाजम के लिए जीना तो क्या मरना भी मुश्किल हो चुका है तो इन हालात में जो मलाजमीन का जो जायज हक है वो कम से कम इनको दिया जाए हम ये हमारा जो सेक्रेटरी अलाउंस का मुतालबा है ये हमारा चूंकि पंजाब में हो चुका है चारों सूबों में हो चुका है और उनको यकम जनवरी बीस सौ बाईस से मिल रहा है People working in different government departments accuse that their long due salary hike and promotions often meet a bureaucratic blockade at the behest of the political leadership of Pakistan.
And the Asian Development Bank has approved a $350 million special policy-based loan to provide budget support to Sri Lanka for economic stabilization. The program is part of a broader package of financial assistance anchored by the IMF's bailout for the debt-ridden South Asian country. The country's State Minister of Finance, Shehan Sema Singhe, welcomed the loan assistance and assured that the island nation will remain committed to the reforms to address internal and external imbalances required to return to a society sustainable debt trajectory. The island nation secured a $2.9 billion IMF bailout in March, but must now have a debt restructuring framework in place by September to take the program forward. An Everest record breaker, Kami Rita Shetpa, who scaled Mount Everest for a record 28th time this month, has expressed that he is skeptical of his future in the country. He lamented that the government hardly does anything for the welfare of the Sherpa community and he wants to leave the country. Kami Rita Sherpa, who stood at the top of the world just days earlier, exultant at having summited Mount Everest for a record 28th time, has said that he is skeptical of his future in the country. The Nepali climber was given a hero's welcome upon his return to Kathmandu. But as he sat in his rented apartment, he said the government gets so much royalty because of Nepali climbers, but they hardly do anything for their welfare. He said many renowned Sherpa guides have left Nepal in search of better opportunities and he himself wants to go abroad. Hiking tour company officials reckon more than 500,000 people are employed in tourism, but many remain economically vulnerable. Mountain climbing and trekking attract thousands of foreigners to Nepal every year, contributing more than 4% to the $40 billion economy. The country earned $5.8 million in permit fees, $5 million from Mount Everest alone during this year's March to May climbing season. Hindus in northern India celebrated Ganga de Sehra on Tuesday by taking a holy dip in the sacred river Ganga in the temple towns of Prayagraj, Haridwar and Varanasi. During the festival, devotees worshipped the holy river, which is venerated as a mother as well as a goddess, as it holds a uniquely significant place in Indian life and consciousness. The Ganga is a symbol of purity for Hindus. Devotees bathe in the river and offer prayers for the well-being of their families. बहुत ही ज़्यादा मज़ा आ रहा है जैसे कि आज गंगा जी का जन्म हुआ है और आज के दिन जैसे कि बहुत सारे लोग आए यहाँ पे बहुत सारे मतलब सबके दिल में ऐसी खुशी है जैसे कि मतलब हर साल एक नया हो Regarded as a celestial river originating in the heavens, the legend holds that Ganga was gifted to mankind in answer to the great penance undertaken by King Bhagirath, after whom she is also called Bhagirathi. Bhagirath prayed for the Ganga to descend onto the parched earth and bring life. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.